Bay scallop rolls. This is our secret light breader that we put on them. Okay, secret. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. We're gonna bre bread them right up. Now let me Please. ask you: Did you guys have a chowder competition this year? Was there a chowder competition? There was. We only came in second. I think they're tired of us winning, though. You know? Did you really? We came in second. That's excellent. You know? Good for you. Who won? Uh, AK's won. Jeannie AK. Diamond made a nice chowder this year. All right. So, she, she, I, she's always out to get me, though, you know? <laughs> but we went through a little chowder down here today, you know? Did you really? Yeah, about 90 gallons. Is that, how does that compare? Because, you know, it's, it's a good. little light. That's what yeah, I Yeah, we usually go to about 120. Right, I, yeah. I, it seems a little lighter this yeah, year. Yeah, so. What do you think that's from? Why do you think it's slower? Well, I don't know. Good weather. Maybe they the got scared away, though, from Friday yesterday. Friday night, yeah. it could have been that. Could have been that. All could, right. You know. Now, what's the, uh, let, for those folks out there that would like to make their own chowder without giving away too much of your secret. What's Cohogs. The, huh? I, you local cohogs. Go with the cohogs. Yeah. That's Forget a, the sea clams. Yeah, Cohogs. start with that. That's it. Okay. That's the secret. All right. You got it. Thank you. You gave it away. You heard it there first, folks. Thanks, CJ. All right. So what is your name? Susan Atwood. I'm Gino. Nice to meet you, yes, Susan. Yes, nice to meet you, Gino. Tell us a little bit about the history of the light ship basket. Well, the baskets were first woven on board a light ship that was docked out in the harbor, and the men wove these in between their duties, keeping the lights on in the light ships, and so they had a lot of time on their hands and wove these wonderful baskets. We have an original one Ooh. right there in the window. Let me go over here. Okay, that's good. So this was woven on board a light ship yeah. long ago, yeah. and yeah. the weavers of today, the Nantucket weavers of today, uh, weave exactly with the same materials and the same technique. That now, was now back then ago. they weren't worth as much as they are today. No, that's true. That's true. They're very utilitarian. And today they are as well, even though they're costly. Why are they so costly, though? Time. The time. The time. Mm -hmm. And the care in the materials. These are um, hardwoods that were carefully selected, carved, and a lot of craftsmanship and time involved. But the good news is, is how long they last. And people usually are reluctant nowadays to use them because of their expense, but they really should be out and used and enjoyed. Now, how long would it take someone to make a basket that size? 20, 25 hours. They're time consuming. So how do you tell the difference between makers? I mean, there's many of them. Oh, they're very distinct characteristics. Materials, mm -hmm. the staves, mm -hmm. which are these uprights, can be, excuse me, can be uh, made of different materials, oak, cane, cherry. I can show you a couple of examples, or cane. Yeah, let's go look at a few of maybe the more modern ones, too, that are, sure. they come in all different sizes, don't they? They do, yeah. they do. Look what you can do with them, huh? Yeah, <laughs> this is a wine cooler. Okay. But you can see the staves on this one are cherry. Flat and cherry and a cherry rim. This weaver uses reed, rounded, half round reed. Always cane to weave with, but different materials on the uprights. Different, uh, this is a maple, oak handle, this is cherry. So we have a lot of variety just by when you really look at them closely. And then we And look at this display, huh? These are the Nantucket purses that Jose Reyes, uh, the Filipino, very well-known Filipino. He was kind of the guy that started the ball rolling for everybody, is for that right? For the purses. For the purses. For the purses, yeah, right after the war. Now that's become a, a fashion statement. Very much so, mm -hmm. very much so. We have a couple of his originals. And then today, the contemporary ones down here, that will in time turn dark and lovely. Is okay, let me ask you, 20 years ago when I came out here, they were popular then, the purses. Yes. Through the years, have, have there, has the popularity grown? Yes, considerably. And when I, too, came out here, it was usually the little old ladies with their very special purses. Now, 16-year-olds, high school seniors as graduation presents are very proud of their Nantucket purses. But 
you run the risk of these the Chinese knockoffs too, right? I mean, aren't they making them? We do. But they will never have the uh, provenance that the Nantucket woven ones will. So when we're all said and done and they're lined up on a shelf, the ones that were woven by Nantucketers are going to be by far the most sought after and the most valuable. Do you have any real large ones? Anything that's really big? A big basket? Huge baskets? Such as those, those are the biggest ones, yeah. Those are, yeah. Those, and then we have a baby cradle. So what, is, what would the prices be, ranging from? A couple of hundred dollars to thousands. 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 30,000? Not quite that high. <laughs> we have an expectant grandfather that has his eye on this one. But I guess he's waiting for the grandchild first. But any day now, yeah, he pops back in. And then this is the um, coffee table. That, wow. That, um, Bill Sales, a local very um, well-known local weaver. Yeah. Uh, mahogany, Incredible. Beautiful mahogany base and a glass. And that's probably our largest basket. 9,500. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's a drop that. in the bucket for a lot of these folks out here. Uh, well, well, look at the price. I mean, maybe I not for me. So. But yeah. yeah, of course. But that's it's, a good value. It's, it's, and I mean, if you buy that for 9,500 bucks, in 20 years, it's going to be worth more than that, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So oh, absolutely. And that's what attracts the men to buy the purses for the women because they are making an investment. Oh, yeah. And the woman scores because they get yeah. a gorgeous bag. Right. <laughs> and the men are delighted because in 10 yeah, years right. they've made a wise investment. It's not a fad. It's an investment. So we, we are, we're definitely popular. That's good. Thank you. I love their colors.